Good morning, guys. I have the video on uh, Leviticus 6 this morning. Uh, so it starts out with uh, the sins requiring a guilt offering and what exactly that guilt offering is. Um, so these sins include lying about it, lying about stealing property, um, not telling the truth when you when you said you did, uh, pretty much any of that. And if you if you do sin in these ways, you have to do the guilt offering and give back what you stole, as well as an additional 20% um, of whatever it was for the person that you harmed and kind of like restitution costs. Um, so then it goes into how you must bring your own ram or buy one uh, to sacrifice it for that guilt uh, to God in the temple. And then that offering uh, must be must be taken to uh, Aaron and his, and his sons for them to burn it on the altar and the flame has to always be lit that was something that kind of um, stood out to me that uh, it's kind of like an eternal flame that it always has to be lit no matter what uh, so that, I thought that was pretty interesting uh, it says in verse 13 remember the fire must be kept burning on the altar at all times it must never go out and then the uh, next two sections are about the grain offering, which um, is kind of standard offering uh, that they have to do. Like no, um, uh, it's unleavened and all that stuff, and they, they can't use the rest of the flour unless it's with unleavened and within the temple, the holy place. Um, and then the last section is the instructions on the sin offering. Um, I thought the part, this is pretty interesting with the if the any of the blood splatters on any of like the like garments or anything like that like it has to be washed right away within the sacred place and a clay pot if you use that has to be broken um, and a bronze one has to be cleaned extensively uh, i thought that was interesting that uh, everything needs to stay within the holy place and that none of that sacrifice should leave the the place um, so that's pretty much what i got on the biggest six i am extremely grateful that Christ died on the cross so we don't have to do any of this because it sounds like a pain in the butt. Um, so let me know if you guys have any other thoughts on Leviticus 6. I hope you all are doing well and I will see you all later.